Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Michelle. So today I am showcasing this beautiful, gorgeous, water kinky curly hair from Curls Queen. And I want to show you guys what they sent me. They sent me this beautiful, very, very comfortable gold bonnet. I got a brush. And inside this bag, y'all, is some of the most beautiful, natural, curly, textured hair I've ever had the pleasure to work with. I love it. I love it. So, they sent me two bundles. And with these two bundles, I'm going to make my own U part wig. Of course, you know, I'm going to choose the side part. So I'm using this awesome glue gun that I got. This is a precision glue gun. You see the tip. It is very important for making a glue gun wig because you want to make sure that you put the glue only on the very top of the weft so it doesn't touch the actual hair. That makes it easier to install, it makes it less messy, and it also makes it much easier to remove the glue if you want to reuse the hair for other things like clippings, which is exactly what I'm going to do. And make sure to protect your wig head with some plastic because the glue can get stuck in the fibers. I just used a shower cap. So what I'm doing is a little rough eye estimation. I'm trying to make sure that I don't run out of hair so I evenly distribute the bundles. I really am trying to get in focus. So throughout this video, it's sometimes it's in focus, sometimes it's not, but you can see how um, I'm trying to get it at the very, very edge of this track. And ignore the little glue wispies because those peel right off and they do not get stuck to the hair at all. This is why I love the hot glue gun method. And this is completely optional, but these little coverings for your fingers are awesome if you want to protect against burns. There's Bella. She was helping me get my hair together, girl. going to go ahead and lay the last bit down at the very top and work my way from the top down because I panicked and I got scared and I thought I was going to run out of hair but I didn't. I had plenty of hair and as you will see this wig is a very full wig. It's about 500 density y'all. That's how I like it. I like big hair. Like you're taking me to my new Cause you up there fine, which you don't know Think flame me, you're your only down low Let's get you locked up like a photo And ain't got no a good time for you to add your wig clips or if you don't want to use these kind I've taken combs out of old wigs that I wasn't gonna wear anymore um, you can even just use bobby pins if that's what you're gonna do but I really like making wigs with um, the glue gun because it's quick it's simple like I showed before you can just tear the glue off if you want to reuse it if you use the quick weave glue I don't even know if you can get that glue off I don't think, especially if you're using really expensive hair and, you're, and you know for a fact that you're gonna wanna reuse the hair, but I'm going to go ahead and put her on. Also last night, I forgot to put it in my roller, so I will be creating this curl with this barrel iron. Hopefully, it'll work. Girls on 
It's too sweet, that sugar level. The party don't start to me and my girl show for the center. Me call my daughter. Turn it, turn it, turn it up. You must bring the heat. Come on, I know the feet now. Hurry, hurry, hurry up. You must follow my lead. Okay, so I got the wig on. So now we just finesse this whole situation over here to make it look like these um, beautiful, gorgeous, juicy curls are growing out of my scalp. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to carefully separate these. But I got my iron is still hot because I might have to redo some of these because they're a little too loose. I feel like this would definitely be better when you use rollers because when you're molding your hairstyle, um, it's just tighter. It's tighter. Unless you're going to break out the Marcel curling irons and I ain't got those too. I'm going to go back in and redo some of these curls to make them tighter because my curls are loosening up and this is when super hold is your friend. Which is why, again, I say use rollers. Rollers are so much easier. They're less damaging for your hair. I rarely use um, heat on my hair, um, but it's a necessary evil if you're trying to get something to blend. Now look at that curl, that didn't even do right. What? One time you see us for the corner. The time we fit times for the center. Every time we walk out, got them nice going by. So I'm also gonna use some of this glosser, or you could use an oil sheen, just to make sure that my hair is just as glossy and shiny as this water kiki curly. And you know what? I didn't even realize the length. This is 20 inches. When I took it out of the box, I did not realize how long this would be, because if you stretch this out, girl. You got some inches. Another thing that I really do appreciate about U-part wigs or using this hair to make a U-part wig is that I don't have to worry about my edges. I don't have to worry about glue because you know, even if you do use got to be glue, which is what I use, and even if you just might use um, the hairspray, that's a lot of alcohol for your hair. And you gotta give your hair a break. Your hair gotta grow. Hair gotta breathe. So you guys already know how I feel about the texture. I love kinky curly and this water curly does it. It is, it's just gorgeous. I mean, look at it. There's not much more I can say. perfect vacation hair because really at the end of the day all you need to do is detangle add a little bit of mousse or a gel of your choice twist that bad boy up wake up the next day boom thank you guys so much for stopping by and taking time out to watch this video shout out to curls queen for this gorgeous water kinky curly texture all the details about this hair will be in the description box and i'll talk to you guys later bye guys